Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing Leany Boog. Now, this is a horror game featuring a wolf man, a little bit like Little Red Riding Hood or something like that, and he's meant to chase us around this house. I don't know what the story's like, I don't know much about it. I've seen some other people on YouTube cover it about a month or two ago, so it definitely piqued my interest, and I thought, hey, let's try it today, let's see what this game's all about. It's probably a game we can play through all in one video, so I'm quite excited to jump in, quite excited to see what this game is all about. As you can see on the title screen, we do indeed have a wolf man and he's looking pretty creepy so yeah i'm interested to see where the story goes on this one with that said sit back relax and let's see what leany boog is all about so we can go easy medium hard or nightmare i'll go with like medium i guess i always go medium difficulty no matter what game i play to play this game you need to use headphones it is highly not recommended to set your volume high okay i'm guessing this is going to be like a loud game then <laughs> So maybe we don't want, yeah, our headphones turned up too high. But we're going to have to rely on like the sound to pretty tell where the enemy is, I'm guessing. Leany Book, here we go. Okay. This is interesting. It looks like Russian. Inspect the office. I can't even hear any sound at all at the moment. Oh, I can hear sound now. We've got audio. E to interact. What are we interacting with? Oh, we just opened the door. Okay, let's check the office first. So that says basically midnight. I don't know what that says. That's in Russian. We've got like a, a woman's picture on there, like a middle-aged woman. We've got a computer screen. Okay. Interesting. Okay, let's just head forward then and see where this goes. It's very quiet. I might turn the volume up a bit. What's this? E to interact with this. Oh, I think we're just interacting with doors. <laughs> There's a security camera up there. This kind of looks like it's a flashback, right? Like, I don't think the normal gameplay is meant to look like this. Um, okay. Nothing in here. We're just going to get jump scared in a minute, I can tell. Like, that leany boog is going to be in here. He's going to pop out from somewhere. Can we go this way? Huh. Find the noise source. Oh, goodness, man. I can hear that. It's scary. Where's the noise source coming from? Is someone coming through the window? No? Oh! Run! Which way? Which way? Which way? I can't see! I can't see, guys. I don't know which way I'm going. I'm going back in the office. I'm hiding. Okay, I've, I've hidden in the office. I don't know what that was. Oh no! There is Leany Boog. He came for us. He's already got us. Alright, here we go. Not so long ago, we received information that shortly before his disappearance, Subject 88 visited his relatives in the vicinity of New Garage. According to our data, Subject 88 left a certain envelope in the house, the contents of which are still considered unknown. In addition, we learned that the attacker who committed the brutal murder of a security guard in the archive last week stole data about this house. Probably the attacker is also looking for this envelope. Okay, so the... Wolf guy escaped by the sound of it, and the worker got killed. How to play. Your task is to listen carefully to which part of the house the monster is running to, so that you can close the window in time. To close the window, hold down the E key. So this is all sound based, I'm guessing. We've got windows all over the place. Yeah, look, they've got noise triggers on them. Oh. I felt like I heard something, man. Anything here? Can we go through this door? No. So at the moment, we've only got four windows we can choose from, I think. Gotta survive 379 seconds. Oh, goodness. Close it. Eat it, interact. Nothing's happening, guys. Is he already in the house? I'm pressing E, nothing is happening. I'm, I'm not joking. Yeah. 
Oh no, he got in. I think he'd already got in, because I couldn't do anything. I couldn't interact with that. There should be some kind of prompt when, you know, you, you go to a window and if you can't interact with it, it just goes, like, makes a little noise to show that you can't interact with it anymore. Oh. I can hear a noise, but I don't know where it's coming from. Oh, here we go. There he is. I see. And then we, we hold E to interact. Oh, no. Okay. So we have to actually hold E until he's gone away. Yeah, he's there. Close the window. Yes, we hear a sound. When he's gone, we hear like a little beep sound on the motion sensor. Thing is, there's an upstairs as well. Oh god, is he upstairs? Is there an upstairs? I don't know. I think there is. Guys, I think there's an upstairs. I think there's an upstairs. There is. I don't know where he is. I can't tell. Oh my goodness. He's in. He's in. He's, he's got us, I think. Yeah, he got in through here. Yeah, we're dead. All we can do is hide now. Oh man, this is actually tough. Because there's so many different windows to check all the time. Here he is. Leany Boog in person. To be fair, he's not that scary. Which is good. The thing is, because there is an upstairs as well. You have to be like super... You have to be super efficient at all times. He's, I think he's gone around the other side of the house now. Oh man, I can hear him everywhere. Here he is, here he is, here he is. Close it and hold it. Hear that noise and we go. That bleep. I haven't heard it yet. Now it's gone. Okay, good. That's how we tell. Okay, now where is he now? Is he upstairs? No, he's over here. Let's close it. Hopefully he doesn't use the upstairs too much, because if he uses the upstairs, like, I, I reckon I get screwed over. Let's just hold E till we hear that noise. I've gone against the game's wishes, and I've actually turned the audio up full blast, because otherwise I just can't hear where he is. What's all this? This is all in Russian. Is he upstairs? No, he's over here. He is over here. That was close. Hold it down. Just hold the window. We're doing okay this time. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, let's go. See the clock. 181, nice. That's basically three minutes. Oh. Does that mean upstairs? See, when we hear that noise... Oh. I think it's downstairs, guys. No. Is it not? I don't know. There's, an, there's no sign of him. What the heck? Oh my god. Where is he? Dude, I... I honestly can't see him. He hasn't attacked for ages. Oh, what the heck? Oh my god, what was that noise? What was that sound? He 
he's still not about. Maybe he's upstairs. He's got to be upstairs, right? Come on, where are you at? Oh, he's here. No, he's in the house. How did we miss that? 92 seconds to go as well. That's so annoying. We're getting closer. But like that time, I just didn't get where he was at at all. Here he is. Oh, guys, I'm going to have to cut to when I get close to beating it again because I can't keep showing you the whole night. 90 seconds left. Here we go. Okay, now we just need to hear clearly where he's coming from now. Can we hear him? Oh, he sounds like he's upstairs. Here he is. Let's close that. Look, 68 seconds left. We can do this. Probably got two more attacks before we finish the level. In fact, we might only have one more attack. He's moved. Is he going to come from downstairs or upstairs is the question. Oh. Sounds like downstairs. Oh, is it downstairs? No, I think it's upstairs. It's upstairs and it's over here. It's this one. Please close it. Yes, we made it in time. We might be okay now. Just hold it down, hold it down, hold it down. I want to hear that sound to clear me. Oh, he's moved. One, one second left, one second left, come on. We did it. Nice. Guys, that took me ages. <laughs> that took me about half an hour. Okay, so what's this mean? Another tape. According to our data, the son and father of Subject 88 live in this house. The father is currently away. As everyone knows, representatives of the Brevis Homo race have a small stature, thanks to which the son of Subject 88 managed to leave without leaving any traces. After a search of the house, the same prints were found as in the infamous archive. Apparently it was the same killer. After analyzing the phone calls, we found out that a certain citizen living in the Artacticon district called this house the other day, before our arrival. It was clear from the style of communication that they knew each other. They were talking about the same envelope that Subject 88 left. At the end of the conversation, they agreed to meet. Okay, so are we playing as Subject 88's son? Is that correct? It seems like it. It says, find apartment number 17. I think, yeah, we're playing as the son and we seem to have escaped, like, with some kind of test subject, maybe? And it says someone's got in touch with us, like a citizen's got in touch with us. And then I think that recording is maybe like a government agent, someone who was part of the science team who experimented on us or something. I'm not sure. It's really confusing. But we'll go inside this apartment anyway and see what happens next, I guess. What are we looking for? What's this? What's this on the table? Check one, two, three. Oh, we've got somebody coming in. I hope so. It says friends. I apologize for not being able to meet you in person. I have my own reasons for this. I really okay. hope you have the envelope. Your father risked everything to prevent this envelope from falling into the hands of the collectionarium. Or even worse, into the hands of the creature that is now on your tail. Don't worry, he won't be able to get into this apartment. I've taken care of that. Good. The most important thing to remember is one thing. Do not open the envelope in any case. I want to open this it now. This sad consequences not only for you, but also for everyone around you. Alright, we won't open it. We have too little time. I have no right to detain you. Take this walkie-talkie. I'll help you from time to time. Okay, we've got walkie-talkie. So now what do we you do? You can find a train ticket in the next room. It will take you to the right place. 
When you arrive at your destination, I'll contact you again. Take the tickets from the table. Where? I don't see any. Train tickets. In the next room, he says. Oh, here we go. In this room. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's creepy. I wish this was translated into English, because I have no idea what this Russian writing says. We've got the train ticket. So here we go. That was an easy level. That was kind of more of just a, like a, a level where you can't die, right? Yesterday we managed to get a more detailed description of the attacker. It turned out that the suspect is of our Tacticon origin. It sounds incredible, but it corresponds with the description of a creature from an ancient our Tacticon legend. It is called... Lee All the data on this case was transferred to the collection area. Okay. How to play. Your task is to prevent the monster from entering the compartment. To do this, you will need to carefully monitor the movement of a monster and close the door in time, or exit the compartment in a timely manner. The compartment you will need to enter will be highlighted. To close the door or exit the compartment, you need to press the key that appears on your screen. It's extremely important to monitor the movement of a monster because otherwise the key will not appear on screen. Oh man, this actually sounds tricky. What the heck? So we need to know which compartment to go inside. It says it will be highlighted. We've got to survive for 391. We're on a train by the look of it. F to interact. Oh, I think the light was flashing. Showing us where to go. <laughs> yeah, we got got. I think the light flashes next to the compartment next to the compartment we need to go into. As soon as we see a light flash, we go into that compartment. Okay, over here. This one's flashing. So this one is 12. And then we have to press Q or E. Okay. I don't get it. Where is he? I don't understand, guys. Oh, ah. He was there right in the doorway. Is he, is he gone? Okay, can I... Oh. What do we do? Do we just wait? Or do we exit this compartment now? Oh. T, T, T. There we go. I don't know how long we're meant to stay in this compartment for. But I guess we just wait until it tells us to leave, maybe? <laughs> I'm just looking left and right. Man, this is creepy. I feel like we should maybe leave this compartment soon. F. This is kind of easy, this one. Like, if this is all this is the whole time, then it's not too bad, you know? 271 left. Just gonna wait. See if he comes to us again. It did say we can leave the compartment. Is he at the window yet? No. Guys, I don't know what I'm doing here. Is he at the window? Come on, what, what, what are we doing? 
Oh, he's there. Okay, now we move. I get it. When he comes through the window, now we move to a different compartment. So we got to watch for the lights again. Oh, over here. Here we go. So this one here. I think. I don't know if I got the right one there. We've got 190 to survive, or 193 to be precise. I'm kind of scared he's going to jump scare us, man. I'm not going to lie. I hate these quick time event games. When you have to press it really fast, I'm really bad at them. Oh, he's, he feels like he's near the door. Could be near the window though. I don't know. Which one? Come on, Wolfie. 158, not too long. The thing that scares me, guys, is because I know I have to do the whole thing. Oh, how do I? F. That scared me, I didn't know where to go. Yeah, I, I get worried because I know I'll have to do the whole thing again if we fail. And I don't like the idea of that. So let's watch to see where he comes from next. Okay, so we go into here next. 128. See which way he's coming from. Come on. Oh! So what happens now? The light's gone out. Oh! Ah! Ah to exit. That's scary man, the light went out. I didn't know what was happening, I thought I'd failed. We've got 97 seconds, come on. Which one's gonna light up next? This one. In we go. In like Flynn as they say. 83. Ooh. The tension is real. You could cut it with a knife. Which way is he going to come from, though? Is he going to come from a door or a window? you got to check where he is, and then you've got to look to this side to check what key you need to press. That's what confused me to start with. So... You know, what's it going to be? Yeah, it's the window, it's the window, it's the window. Escape. I just know one of these days I'm going to press the wrong key and I'm going to get jump scared. We've only got 33 seconds, oh no, 38 seconds. Now we need to go back into that carriage again, or that compartment I should say. Man, I don't like how the music's picking up now. Oh, that was very loud. Man, I don't like this. We've got 10 seconds. Oh, F, close it. Come on, end, end, end. I think we did it. We've done it. Nice. Guys, that was one and done, but that was actually kind of hard towards the end. So I don't know who the voice on that recording is, but they seem not to know exactly where this creature's come from either. So I don't know if he's an experiment or what, but like, the story is odd. Check, three, two, one. There's a security post to your right. The door should open soon. Okay. Enter security room. Ah, oh, here we go. Nice. Ooh, what's this? Flashlight? Do you see the generator? Activating it will open a large gate. 
there won't be anyone inside. Is that it? I've taken care of that. We can only hope that this creature has lost you. Yeah, that creature will be inside, so, I was about to the say. The drawings indicate that four generators will be waiting for you inside. After they are turned on, the gate to the disintegration room will open. You'll have to take this envelope there. And... After you go inside, I won't be able to help you anymore. You'll have to do everything yourself. The main thing is, don't worry. Everything will be fine. Yeah, I'm sure. Good luck, buddy. He is labelled as friend, so maybe he is a friend. We've got to go to the disintegration room and access these generators by the look of it, then. Um... Cool. Oh, look, that's just opened. Sweet. Oh! Okay! Okay, 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 okay. He's gonna get us. I was... Ma I was trying to... I'll take the flashlight. I was trying to, like, mash F then, and I didn't know where the F key was, because my microphone was in the way. Um... Okay, cool. How do we turn the flashlight on? Is there a way? I don't know. Doesn't seem like there's a way to turn it on. Maybe it just turns on automatically. E to interact. We're going into the lab, guys. And we're going to the disintegration room. So what's this say? How to play. Your task is to activate four generators. After that activation, the big doors will open. The only way to survive when encountering a monster is to shine a flashlight in his face. So to turn on the flashlight, hold down the F key. If you release the flashlight button before turning it on, it will temporarily fail. Sprint with the shift key. Oh, we can sprint now. Oh yeah, okay, cool. So how do we turn the flashlight on? Oh, I see. It's kind of finicky, I'm not gonna lie. But we'll see how we get on with this. I have a feeling this level <laughs> is gonna be annoying. We're gonna have to try and like, flash that thing constantly. We've got a generator already though. Heat to interact, come on. There we go. One of four. Anyone want some? Oh my god! He just came out of nowhere. Okay, here we go. We'll try this again. We're gonna get into each of these rooms nice and quick, get the generators, and get out. Although I don't even know where the exit actually is uh, to, this, to this stage once we've got the generators. What I'm gonna do Let's just try and hit them quick. Any in here? Yep, there's one here. Once we've done this one, I'm gonna try and find out where the wolf guy is. And shock him. Where is he? It's so hard to control, right? Oh, here we go. There we go, we got him. So he runs off. So let's just keep going. That's really hard to get him. Oh wait, have we got all of them? Is this the last two? I think this could... Oh no. I was going to say, if that was the last two in the same room, that would have been so, like, sneaky of us. He ran up that way. So I don't know if he's going to be, like, in one of these rooms. <sighs> Man. Okay, we're going to be trapped if we're not careful. I don't know where he's fr where he's coming from. No! Oh, guys, that's so hard. I thought he was going to come from the stairs because that's where he ran up, but obviously not. Oh, he's coming from this way. Ah! Leave! Okay, we got him. That was very lucky. That was very, very lucky. I'm going upstairs, guys. Um, I don't know the layout of this level at all, so I don't know if we need to go this way. I don't know what is this way. Hopefully another generator, right? What the heck? I can hear him. This is what this is the exit here. Okay, I'm gonna wait till he comes. 
I'm gonna wait till he. Here we go. Ah! Okay, good. I said run. I'm gonna follow him. I'm gonna have to follow him. Because that's our exit right there. But we need to find the last generator. Could it be in here? We've got what seems to be a dead end, but maybe it's not a dead end. I don't know. Could this be where we want to go? Could this be where the last generator is? If we get trapped in here, though, we die, right? I can hear him screaming. There's nothing in here. No. To be honest, if he comes for us while we're in here, pretty much game over, I think. Ah! Yeah. That was close. We're doing okay, we're doing okay. Um. Basically, I'm missing a generator. I'm gonna have to go back the way we've come. I'm gonna have to go back up here and hope we don't run into him again. We know where the exit is. I think that big door down there is the exit, but we need more generators before we can access it. When he screams like that, we know he's coming for us, right? Yeah, there we go. Send him away. Be gone, foul beast. Be gone. We're going to have to go this way. We're going to have to go the way he's actually gone himself, which is really annoying. Question is, will he come from this direction or from behind us now? Which way? This way or that way? Oh, he's there. Okay, that was close. That was close. But I'll take it. Right now. The last generator, where is it? Is it in this room? I really hope it's not in a way because like, <laughs> he's just gonna get us if it's in this room really easily. It's not in there. And it is not in here, so okay, it's not in this room. Problem is, if he shows up now, we die. That's how it is. I'm going back up to, to wait until he shows up, guys. Then we'll scare him off again. He's going to show from that way, I think, I hope. Here he is. Right, we got him. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So the objective now is to go into this room, see if we can find the last generator. Is it in here? We've got multiple offices to search. It's not there. Next one. It's here. Yes. Okay, that's the last one. That's open the door. The music is... The music has started and it's loud. I cannot hear where he's coming from now at all. I think it was this way. I'm going for it. I'm going for it, guys. It's this way, right? Go, 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 go! Yes, screw you. We made it, we've got to the exit. Okay, done. Guys, that level took me way too long. I hate that level. <laughs> we've done it, good. Wow. Where are we now? What, what is this? Wait, what is this? Oh, there he is. What the heck? I'm backing up. Human. Yes? I can hear you.
What mistake? What mistake did we make? Okay. Who did? Who are they? Screw that! I don't... No! I'm backing up, guys. I'm not getting near that guy. I don't trust him. Can we escape? Can I, can I not get out of here? This is nuts. I'm not. No. No, I'm not coming towards you. I have a choice, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going near him, guys. Come on, my younger brother. Screw that. I'm backing up. I'm, I'm going this way. I'm going back this way. Because if we go over to him, he's just going to jump scare us or something. I reckon this is like the final test or something, you know? What is this? What is this? Where are we now? Ooh. Okay. A bridge is being built for us. Who's this guy? Is this like an experiment? Is this one of the guys from the recordings? That is weird. That's like a guy with no face. What the heck? Like a skeleton man. That's Subject 88. Wait, is that the wolf? Was that Leany Boog the whole time? I'm confused. Hopefully. I'm super confused. You've never been so wrong before. Okay, so I think basically the story of this game was that we are the son of Subject 88, who is this like wolf man hybrid, like a werewolf. And then Leany Boog was our brother, our big brother. That's the wolf that was chasing us throughout the game. And we were basically trying to uncover the truth with the help of this mystery person who may or may not have been assisting the government and the scientists in leading us to the location of Subject 88. Um, I'm not entirely sure on that part of the story, but it definitely seems like we're the son of these werewolves. Well, the son of the Subject 88 werewolf, and then Leany Boog was our brother. And we had the choice to go to our brother or to go to our dad at the end, and we picked the dad option and we went to see Subject 88. But yeah, that's a very strange story, a very strange game. I think it comes from Russia, and I think it's mostly made by one person. Now, there was a lot of text that looked like Russian text throughout the game, but I don't actually think it was Russian. I think a lot of it was maybe a made-up text for the game that was meant to look slightly like Russian. I can't be 100% on that because I don't speak the language. I'm just being sort of ignorant to it now. But to me, it looked like it was a sort of Russian hybrid. But as a natively English speaking person, I don't know. Uh, so people who are Russian in the comments can always let me know if the text is Russian or not. Um, but yeah, the gameplay itself, it was sort of a mixed bag. Some of it was fun. Some of it was really frustrating. They could have made a few tweaks, I think, here and there, like had the flashlight in that last mini game to be left click instead of press F, it would have made it way easier to control and a lot more fun to play. 
Because some of this game was just frustrating, like the audio cues were all over the place and weren't very clear. So I can't say I really enjoyed playing this game, but it was certainly fun, it had a good art style, it had some good ideas, and the story was intriguing, even though I don't fully understand it. But with that said guys, there's probably some secrets and easter eggs to find here. If you want to check out the game for yourself, there will be a link in the description below. But with that said, thank you for watching this video today. If you did enjoy it, remember to leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I will see you all on the next one.